So uh, um, uh, let me go back to the homepage and, and mention the next use case, which is to say, I am a researcher or clinician interested in uh, two variants from a patient that have come out of a sequencing assay. And I wanna determine whether there's ever been publication of a compound heterozygous patient in the published literature. So I have a specific example for that use case. I'll begin by typing in the gene. And then right after I type in the gene, I'll be able to type in the variant. And you can see how quickly the, those variants come up to populate my search. If I perform that search, you'll notice now that I've immediately jumped into the advanced search capability, which allows me to do multi-parameter search. So in this case, we've got an and, but that can be toggled from an and to an or. The and is a more specific search. You'll be restricting your search to only those papers that mention both variant one and variant two. The or is a more sensitive search, which allows you to see any papers that mention either of those variants or both. In this particular use case, we're looking for mentions of a compound heterozygous patient. So I'll stay uh, with the and toggle and perform that search. And I go right to Mastermind, who's returning results that indicate that about 300 articles talk about those two variants together. If that's more articles than you'd like to search through, and typically the tipping point is maybe 25 or 50, um, beyond which the rapid toggle is not as useful as, say, using the categories. If I'd like to see the phrase compound heterozygous in any one of those papers, uh, that evidence is in the ACMG interpretation category PS4. And I can go down to the list and say, ask Mastermind to show me articles that mention both of those variants and mention the term compound heterozygote or compound heterozygous and prioritize those articles that mention those terms close together to those particular variants. So when I now execute that new search, you'll see it's a much smaller subset of data and it's better prioritized to show me those papers that mention the terms that I'm particularly interested in for this interpretation. If I click on the first paper and I go down and show the keywords that I've um, put in, you can see right away that there is uh, reference to compound heterozygous uh, germline carriers of these two mutations in a Journal of Surgical Oncology paper from 2007. This paper mentions the Y to C variant 37 times, and it mentions the G to D variant 25 times. And again, it mentions the specific key terms that you've asked of it, so you have every confidence that the articles in this prioritized queue will satisfy your search criteria and be useful for your ACMG interpretation. So let me go back to the home page and visit a different type of search where if say you have you're interested in uh, KRAS variants, say the G12D variant and the G13D variant, those are highly related variants. If you're not in this case interested in compound heterozygote uh, cases, but instead you're interested in seeing papers that mention either of those two variants, Toggling your parameter to the OR toggle will now enhance the sensitivity of your search and show you papers that mention either variant or both variants. And if you'd like to focus in on a specific aspect of the, those individual variants, you can either select one of the key terms from the canned categories that we have, either ACMG interpretation or clinical significance, which allows you to focus in on diagnostic prognostic or therapeutic utility, or otherwise aspects of the, the genetic mechanism of pathogenicity, whether it be um, terms that are specific to mutations, copy number lesions, fusion events, or epigenetic terms, et cetera.